hello i am here in taylor and in this video you will learn about how to getting started with node mcu esp8266 so here you can see that we have node mcu esp8266 it has a 30 pins the special thing about this node mcu esp8266 is that it has a wi-fi capability so it is a one of the cheapest and best board for developing the iot project so i in future i am going to develop a lots of iot project based on this esp8266 let's see the details in the slide and i will also show you a demonstration how you can blink an led with the esp8266 so here you can see the pin diagram of node mcu esp8266 first i will tell you about this gpio pin GPIO pin are general purpose input output pin which can be used as digital input output to this particular board. So for example here you can see that we have a GPIO 12 which is mentioned as a D6 pin on the board and similarly the other pin are also available. We have one analog pin on this board which is mentioned as A0 that is it will it is basically working as a ADC and we have only one analog pin on this board. This board has also capability of UART, SPI and the I2C. So for UART we have uh, these four pins. So you can use a uh, TX0 and RX0 for using the UART0 and similarly for second one. It is mentioned as TX, RX on this pin. And similarly for the SPI purpose we have all this MOSI, CS, MISO and CLOCK pin. We have reset and enable pin also and this board is working on a 3.3 volt DC supply and also few of the ground pin are also available on the board. From here you can connect your micro USB cable and the board will run. We have two push button also for reset and flash and the speciality of this board is that it has a on chip this Wi-Fi module and due to that it has a capability of Wi-Fi and this is the PCB antenna and that's why it is most popular for the development of IoT projects. So this is a very short intro of Node MCU ESP8266. So next uh, I have interfaced this two LED with Node MCU. Here you can see that one green LED is attached to the D2 pin of this Node MCU which is basically a GPIO4. I have used a blue LED in the real hardware and the red led is connected to d5 pin which is gpio 14 pin of this node mcu so i will show you how you can use the arduino id to program this board and how you can blink this led as per your requirement so let us jump to arduino id so once you will open the arduino id it will look like this if you don't know about how to download and install the arduino id you can watch my previous video so once you open the Arduino ID, you need to go to the file, then click on preferences, then go to additional boards manager URLs and then paste the link that I have mentioned in the description. These are the JSON file for the ESP8266 as well as for ESP32 and click on OK. Then you need to go to the tools, then go to the board, click on boards manager one window will open here in the search bar you have to write down ESP8266 so you will get this ESP8266 from ESP community you need to click on this install so you can see that we have successfully installed this board you can click on close now if you will go to this board you can see the option ESP8266 board depending upon the board you can select the node MCU or your board I have this node MCU 1.0 so I will select this board and once you will select this board again in the tools you can see that we have some changes it is showing some frequency of this board that is 80 megahertz then the upload speed and we have flash details also so next thing is we need to write the code and then we need to upload it. So here I have written one code for LED blink. So you can see that first I have defined the red LED at 14. 
so which is basically a d5 pin and similarly for blue led i have defined a gpio 4 that is for at d2 pin then we have to define that whether this is an input or output device so with the help of pin mode i have defined both led as output and in the void loop we have to write our logic which will repeat for infinite times so first i have turn on this red led and at that time the blue led will remain turn off it will wait for one second and status will change red led will be turn off and blue led will turn on and again it will wait for one second and again status will change and it will keep on moving so next you need to connect the usb cable to the pc I am connecting it to the PC. Then you need to go to the tools. Make sure that you have selected your proper board under the ESP8266 board. And then you need to select the COM port. If you are not getting the COM port, then you can manually install the driver. I have also mentioned the link to download the driver for USB cable. And finally, once you will do all these things and once you verify your code you can click on upload which will load the code into the esp8266 so now i am going to click on upload so you can see that connecting port and now here it is writing to the node mcu so that's it we have done uploading and you can see that the led is blinking one by one so one time red LED is turned on and then blue. So I hope this is helpful to getting started with ESP8266. I am going to prepare a lots of IoT based project with the help of this board, with the help of Blink and some other platform also. So don't forget to subscribe this channel to get more and more project. Thank you so much for watching this video.